Welcome to Mr. Community. I am your host, your cousin, Reggie Ranch, and I am joined by a, a, a great sister, if I might say. Uh, you know her, the majority of you may know her from a, a great TV show that came out of Detroit just a short uh, time ago called The Preachers of Detroit. You remember that show, right? And she was the, the, the darling young sister, spiritual sister, a child of God who... I. I put it like this. There was another individual. I won't say her name. Bless her heart. She was a, I think a, a, a bishop. And she, she talked about the, 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 the power of a woman. And I'm, and it's a beautiful thing, the power of a woman, but I kind of got thrown off by her presence on the show because I didn't see the man. It was like absence of a man, a woman doing her thing. So I got kind of confused, but this sister that's here with me today, Miss Bonita Shelby was on the show and she was like the, 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 the true sister who understands that a woman can does have the part. She's a man's equal. We, we're, we're one in the same. Uh, she, you have your job. I have my job. But at the same time, a, a, you know, a sister can be independent and do her own thing. But the, the way you said it on that show, I just, I really appreciate it because I really received it so well. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the program, Miss Benita Shelby. Thank you, Reggie Reg. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be yeah, here. Yeah, finally got you down here. I know. Yeah, and we missed the show. So you guys did what, was it two seasons? Actually, we did one did season. Did one season. I thought it was two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, was I, I saw so many times. I thought it was two seasons. Yeah. Yeah, but it was a, it was a great show, and um, I hope, I'm hoping you guys will put something like that uh, together again. Uh, <laughs> that was we'll fun. We'll see what happens. We yeah. contracted for four years, so We'll see what happens. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then there's, there's other great things that you were doing. Uh, uh, first, let's talk about um, your your children. Right. The Shelby Five. Shelby Five. Uh, the, uh, a, a very popular group with in, inspirational uh, gospel music. Right. Um, but how are they doing now? What's going they're on? They're doing them? great. As a matter of fact, they're in L.A. right now. They've got signed to Rodney Jerkins Lifestyle. Oh, music. Rodney Jerkins, Dog Child, yeah. really? Whoa! They're working I love it Dog out. Child. They're working every day, good, working hard. Good. So their album is supposed to drop. Uh, the singles dropping in October. So stay wow. tuned. They're doing big things. Yeah. Big and what do you things. think about that sound? The sound of uh, the Christian music. Well, you call it Christian music, gospel, music, inspirational music, and young people doing their things. You got you got uh, Christian rap artists. You got. Right. Uh, you know, Christian uh, uh, opera and all kind of different things that come into the fold of, of inspirational music. I, right. I, I think it's beautiful. Isn't it a wonderful it is, thing? It is. And, and the very fact that we're getting the gospel out through whatever means necessary that God sees. We understand that there are different personalities and people, but getting the word out, that's the important thing. And keeping the message clear, mm -hmm. keeping the message clear because the foundation remains. Wait, real quick, what do you think about, the, when, just, it's just a terminology uh, when you say gospel music as opposed to inspirational music. I myself went to uh, Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay. Um, my, my neighbor, Jim, Reverend Jim Holly, had, uh, made, it, yeah. uh, made it easy for me to go to that, that uh, great uh, Christian school, the television evangelist at that time, Oral Roberts. I had a chance to meet him and his son, Richard. And uh, when I got to the radio station, KORU, they were playing like the Amy Grants and the, the, the different Christian music. I came there with uh, playing some, uh, uh, you know, the whinings and commission. <laughs> and it was like, what's that? I was like, that's uh, right, uh, right. gospel music. But now the term is inspirational. Does it really make a difference the way you term it? Or I mean, well, you know what? Music is powerful in itself. Um, the message in the music, I think that's the thing that we need to concentrate on. And now God mm -hmm. is bringing people together from all facets. Uh, we see CCM and, and mm -hmm. gospel, and I believe that the time mm -hmm. is coming where God's he's merging that all of that together so that we can begin to see, to really feel the message in the music and reach people that ordinarily wouldn't be reached, you know? So I, I believe that that's where we're at now with music. God's meshing the two together. Mm -hmm. and, and how do you feel about uh, the, the um, secular, uh, the, the rap music? Well, um, I want to say this. I don't. I personally don't listen. I listen to gospel and CCM and that, but um, to each his own. Um, I believe that we have to keep the foundation there. And in, in, in Christianity, you know, we, we look at things from a perspective of uh, the message in the music. So I think that the message in music, and that's a very touchy subject with people. You know, there are some inspirational songs out there. But I want to say that I choose, you know, I listen to the gospel, the whinings, the, right. you know, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Well, Mary J, she didn't, she wasn't out there talking about popping pills and stuff. And yeah. the Mary J Blige, I think, was pretty, especially when she went through her little change and leaving 
a situation when she was young and relationships and then moving up and giving women a, a, a great something to stand on uh, and, to, and believing in themselves. Uh, so Mary J. Blige, I think, was a great artist in, if you want to call it the secular the music phase that I can actually appreciate mm -hmm. because she wasn't way out there. She was like yeah. kind of still holding on to that inspiration because okay. she was always yeah. giving, you know, great message music to women. Mm -hmm. you, do you know Mary J. Blige? No, not Maybe. personally. No. I mean, do you know I've who I'm talking? Her. You know her? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I've She's heard great, of her. Great, great. Okay, <laughs> so let's let's talk about your book. Why have it all? Right there, and you pick it up. Why not have it? Why not? All? Yeah, you you hit yeah. the knot. <laughs> Why not, Why have, not it have it all? all? Right. Yeah, that's yeah. My What's new up book? with that? Well, you know what? This is an inspirational book. It was written from 10 years of journaling. And I might add that my husband, Bishop Don W. Shelby, Don w. I absolutely Shelby. love him. Junior, yeah. He encouraged me to go ahead and just put all these little snippets, pieces of paper that I had uh, started journaling when my children were small. I put all that together, and the Lord gave me the push to go ahead and get this book out here. And the show was was a great, um, you know, a great push boost for me too, because through being on the show, it really opened my eyes to the um, to how society is now thinking and and where women are, and that people feel that if you're a submissive wife, if you love your family, if if you um, if you have things in the correct order, which in my term terms are is God's order, that you're this uh, homemade mamsy pamsy ain't Jemima type of person <laughs> that has no goals and no dreams, but it's just opposite of that. I believe that when you have things in order, when you have that balance that's necessary, that you can have it all. Just because you're a mother, I have five babies, mm -hmm. so I understand when people look down on women because they having all them kids. You know, my husband and I. We cherish family, and that was our reason right. for going on the show, because we wanted mm -hmm. to show that you got a strong black man that loves his family. He's doing ministry. He's successful at ministry. His family is all on board. My children yes. are at church every Sunday morning, beating me to church, <laughs> loving God. They're grown now, 28 to 19, mm. and they're still driving their cars to church. That means a whole lot to me, because <laughs> when they get their own keys and their own mind and they grow up, they can go wherever they want. But to see my children stable, it meant that we stabilized our home. So the Lord said, go ahead, put this in a book, because the world needs to see and know that you can be a mother. You could be a great wife. You could be a great mother. You can be a businesswoman. You can have it all. And you don't have to sacrifice one thing for the other. And my husband, he inspired this book because we were at church one day. And, you know, he is a prince of preachers. <laughs> he preached this message. You can have this and that. So when he said that, I said, there's my book. Why not have it all? I can have this and I can have that. I don't have to make a choice because I'm God's child. I can have everything. I can be whatever God has, has a purpose for me to be and fulfill my destiny. Amen. So on the show, I was, you know, I was looking kind of weak back at one minute, especially when I mentioned that word submission. And, and what we yeah, got to understand, understand that. That's what, submission is not a bad yeah, word. No, some people, when, when, when you hear it, and ignorance is you just lack of knowledge. You don't right. really know what it means. Right. When, when, when people hear that terminology to submit, they think, oh, be a slave. Exactly. That's not what that that's means. Submit, what it it just, it, it's just to be in a respectful mode. Right. All it means is just to be in a respectful mode. God put made man and woman. He didn't there make all know. women. He didn't make all men. That's he right. made man and woman in order to come together as one, the two of them, in his name. Right. And, and in that respect, it's just a, a, an order of things. That's so, right. So uh, the, the, the wife submits to her husband right. in, in God's name. So really that's what she's it. doing is submitting to God come on. via the and husband. what I so, want to say is this. When you have a good head to follow... You don't have no problem with there submission. There you go. When you got a good man, see, I don't have no problem. Because <laughs> right. my husband loves yes. me. He cherishes me. He, um, I do yes. the same. I honor him. I love him. So you can follow somebody that got a good head on their shoulder. And that's what I talk about. It's hard to follow a headless man. Yes. A man that don't have his head in order. And God is the head of the man. There you go. And a man that really loves God, he going to love his wife. Right. Just as Christ. That's God right. God loved the that's church right. that he gave his only son There you go. For us, so. and, it's, and the problem comes when, what you just said, that the head is wrong. And that's the head it. is not following the God. That's it. And the head is following something else. And like man or images or whatever. So it's then out of order. And then you expect your, your woman to or wife to submit to you that no that's hard. that's wrong that's right. therein lies that's the right. problem that's right so see i don't have no problems so Man. see i'm ha i'm a happy i'm a happily married yes lady. i got a we gotta read that husband. book i, I, I gotta read wanna, that book and you know what this book is for men too i yes. want to say it. this is hey, my yeah, pictures I'm, on it I'm don't y'all think it. that this is i'm about to take women. her book and i'm and reading this it. is your copy <laughs> this is your copy i'm about to take that book
This and I'm reading copy. it. All That's right. your copy. I brought it with me. I brought it with this me. Is there it is. This That's is my book. This is my book. That's right. And if you if you have a problem with that picture on the cover, making it look feminine and hot pink, just put That's a book all right. cover That's on it. That's all right. Just put a book cover on I'm it. I'm going to ask you one thing, and we're going to let this go. <laughs> How, what, what, what are your thoughts about uh, women who, when you first look at them, they kind of look like me? And they say to me, what are you trying to talk to me for? We want the same thing. What do you say about that particular group of uh, women? Well, I want to say this, that God, my husband has a saying that all saints have a past and all sinners have a future. And I'm not labeling anyone as anything. When we, um, I look at those women as someone that has a future. Mm -hmm. And once they're in the knowledge, you know, everybody has their own journey in life. Everybody goes through what they go through in life. And we're not here to necessarily judge people, but show them a better way. And that's been our mantra down through the years is that we want to show people a better way. Um, uh, women that, that feel a certain way. We all, we all have certain feelings and we all have a past that mm -hmm. we've had to come mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. But I want to say this, that I have no problem with anyone, but I want to show them a better way. That's right. And I want to give them Christ, yes. which would say, you know what? This is who God made you to be. And that's what my book is about, right. too. Appreciating, right. embracing your femininity. Yes. Not trying to be anybody but who God has called mm -hmm. you to be. And that's where, that's where I'm at in my life. And I would say that that would be the foundation for anybody mm -hmm. that would be walking their destiny down. And that is to be what God wants you to be and what he's called us to be. And when we take it back to the word, mm -hmm. it tells us, mm -hmm. it gives us the epitome of a woman. Mm -hmm. And when we read that word and we take it to heart, that Proverbs 31 woman, that, that says a whole lot about femininity and embracing femininity. I don't desire anything but to be who God has made Absolutely. me. And when we all do that and we get in our proper place and we use that thing called balance and we balance it all out, and we embrace who God has made us, we love who we are, Yes. then we don't want to be anybody else. Yes, and lastly, uh, Miss uh, Benita Shelby, our job is to to love one another and, and not to judge. Am, am I correct that it's God is the judge? If there's a judge, God is the judge. We are here in this life, on this earth, to love one another. We go through things, we're human. Like you say, we all experience a little something or other. We usually come out and up from it and do better. But I, I believe that it's we should learn more about our job here on this earth, and, that, and that's to love each other not right. to judge or, or put you know people down it's it's, it's to right. love and the only way that we can we can help others is to go where they are and pick them up and mm -hmm. that's that's the whole um that's the whole picture of the life of christ when he was on this earth he was dealing with people that nobody else would deal mm -hmm. with and and at our church right. burning bush international ministries we want we want everybody to come in. Yeah. We want them all. We're not we're not uh we're not judging. We want you to come in and hear that word and let mm -hmm, the word mm -hmm, do the judging. Mm -hmm. Let the word do the work. Yeah. No matter how you look, what you believe, or how you stand, or what you got on. And you guys are in, in Ips Ypsilanti. Actually, we're Ips no, you're in. Actually, we're in Ips we in both. We're in Ypsilanti, but we just launched a brand new ministry, which is two months old in Westland. So we're okay. in Wayne County, Westland, okay, three zero three five five Annapolis yes. Road, and we're right. there. And we ha we are seeing growth loving it people are coming in we're we're going out in the streets we're compelling men to come we're gonna change some lives we're gonna Excellent. teach Good people for that you. they can have it all blessings to you and your husband your entire Thank congregation you. your family everybody and miss benita shelby uh how can we get the book i got mine so yes, I'm, you got how yours. can they get their book <laughs> yeah they can go they can go to any of the major media outlets amazon it's on amazon it's on freezing press and it's also on my website benitaandreashelby.com so I'm going to be doing a major book signing. I haven't even done that yet. I've kind of just been traveling a little bit Absolutely. with this book, and it's doing Definitely well. Definitely let us know when but you're But I'll doing be doing a, a major book signing. signing in November. Let us know, please. Thank Benita you. Benita Shelby, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And bring me. that show back. We need it. I love All it. All right. You want it to come back? <laughs> yeah. You better write oxygen. Right. I'm going to write oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> but love you. Thank you for stopping thank by. God you bless so you. Thank you so much. Miss Benita Shelby with Reggie Reg. This has been Mr. Community. God bless.